Here's a. You've all seen these. You probably have these. They're probably a, a foot long, and each end has an alligator clip. I really don't like these. What I've done is I've taken it, one of these apart, and I've replaced the wire with silicon and insulated wire. You see. The silicone is much uh, more flexible. Now, the outer insulation, the outer diameter of this wire, is more than the outer diameter of the silicone wire. But let's look at one of these in detail. can hold it open uh, and slide this off very easily. See there's a hole, but it's not soldered. And you see there's no soldered connection between the two. So here's the wire that comes with one of these. And there's eight strands. And each strand has a diameter. Point oh six millimeters. Point oh six millimeters. So eight strands of point oh six millimeters. Here's a piece of silicone insulated wire. This is a twenty two AWG. I'm going to try to count these, but there's a bunch of them. I mean, there's a lot of them. Certainly more than eight. Let's see if we get a single strand here. And you see it's 0.07. So each individual strand is a little tiny bit bigger. And there's Ten, fifteen times more of them. A lot of times I get a batch of these that are difficult to solder to. Try to take away some of the flash metal on them. See if we can tin it first. Sometimes these are very hard to tin, sometimes they aren't. Little emery boards takes care of that. So I've got some 22 AWG with one of these on one end. Remember to put this on the wire first, I forget that a lot. What I do is stick the wire through the hole and then bend it over. I don't quite solder it yet. Keep it down there. Bend these little tabs together. Do that enough so that it secures the wire a little bit. At that point, you can do your final closing. Oops. 
So the wire is secured. It's not yet soldered. Just flatten that down a little bit. Cool off a little bit. Now we have a piece of 22 AWG silicone insulated wire. So, unlike the uh, wire that comes from China. which melts pretty easily. Got a non-melting wire. And I've got a lot more strands. And each one of those strands is a little bit heavier. I find this combination of alligator clip and hook to be a lot better more useful that is than what we see normally which is a hook by a hook. These are Chinese hooks which aren't bad. I just happen to like these Hewlett Packard hooks a lot better. So there I've taken a couple of Chinese test leads. Well half of a Chinese test lead and half of a Hewlett Packard hook and made a hook by alligator clip. You could of course take half of this and it comes out just like this. Pulls out. Unsolder it. Replace it with a uh, uh, piece of 22 gauge silicone or, I think you could do just as well with 24 gauge. I don't happen to have any 24 gauge. These are keyed, the Chinese ones, and you see the keyway inside here. So you have to slide it in. Put this into the little grooves that it fits in. Push down until the key is in place and you're ready to go. It's a nice way to while away a few hours on the bench. Really in a few hours you could do hundreds of these. These are also easier to store. I just have a thin sheet metal uh, fastened to the face of a shelf and I just clip them on the sheet metal. This is a Hewlett Packard grabber on a piece of blue I had blue wire, I had blue insulation, but in the kit there's no blue wire or no blue insulators, but there are green, and I had green wire. So here I've taken one of the Chinese clip leaves, cut it in half, and grafted the crocodiles onto, or alligators I guess, onto the um, silicone insulated wire. I've taken another pair that had a grabber on it and I've taken it apart and, dis and uh, removed the wire. Make sure that you put this little end cap on first. And get it out of the way. Strip a piece of the wire. Now you hear that little click it made? That sets the release jaw before the stripper jaw goes back. I'll do that again. Listen for the little click. 
So I get my wire, select a notch, I strip it. Oh, hear that cl click, releases, and then it slams shut. If I only go that far, it'll slam shut. I have to go the whole way. There. Then it won't slam shut until the wire is removed. That keeps you from damaging the stranding. Turns into a mushroom. Now, on these Chinese grabbers, you want to tin the wire first. Maybe even cut a little bit off. Now, the best way I've found to do this is find the orientation key. That's it right there. And place it down so the orientation key is located down there. You see on the end of the cap here, the orientation side is there. It's opposite that. It's not just a matter of solder on it. Bring the cap down so the hole is at the top. Solder joint is that way. Fits in these grooves right here, there and there. Fits in the keyway so it can't rotate. Just push it down the whole way. So there you've got a uh, Chinese grabber, Chinese alligator clip, and uh, well, really Chinese. Uh, silicon wire.